the Homeland Security Special Laser and Microwave Weapon Systems Report. I'm Anna Brooks. Laser beam systems are now making a comeback after nearly a decade during which they were considered science fiction. Many companies, including Israeli companies, are now developing weapon systems based on laser beams. After successful testing last year, the U.S. Navy is preparing to deploy its first directed energy weapon, the Navy Laser Weapon System, to the fleet. Its purpose is not to vaporize enemy ships, but to provide a low-cost way for the Navy to defend against drones, small boats, light aircraft, and missiles. An Israeli state-owned arms company is developing a laser-based missile shield that evokes Star Wars-style technology. The laser technology behind the missile shield, called Iron Beam, is not that far removed from fiction. Iron Beam is designed to intercept close-range drones, rockets, and mortars which might not remain in the air long enough for Israel's current Iron Dome missile defense system to intercept. With no peace deal in sight, and also threatened by Hezbollah in Lebanon, Israel wants to upgrade that system and develop further protection. Lockheed Martin is in a very advanced phase of developing its Area Defense Anti-Munition System, or ATOM. The system can disable drones, rockets, and small attack boats that threaten warships. Lockheed recently demonstrated the Atom's ability to burn holes through small military boats. While the weapon takes close to 30 seconds to deal its full damage, Lockheed hints that speed isn't really the focus here. The very low cost of the low energy system are expected to be the main attraction for cash-strapped navies. Laser weapons are not only designed against missiles, drones, and ships. Raytheon delivered its first ray gun crowd control device designed to zap angry mobs with microwaves in 2000. Since then, it's been tested over 11,000 times on human targets. It penetrates 1 64th of an inch below the surface of the skin, creating a temporary burning sensation. Although the military has deemed the active denial system to be safe, it is yet to be deployed in the field. The public is understandably a little timid about the government using the pain ray on people. Thank you for watching our special edition. See you at the same time, same place next week. And for further information, please click the link below.